Hi, I'm Scott Lewitt, President of Structural Composites. I'm really pleased to show you the seven ACC we've built for the Navy. This is the collaborative effort of a lot of team members. In this short video, I just want to give you a first-hand shot of everything we've done on this boat. So, first thing you're going to notice is the Cocure gel coat, which you see here. Cocure gel coat is pretty interesting. We combine polyurethane with polyester. The polyester is a rigid polyester. The polyurethane is an elastomer. We blend these together right at the gunhead. And basically, the ratio of polyurethane to polyester determines the properties of the coating. That's one thing really neat about this technology. It's called Cocure Strain Tunable Coatings and Resin. Because now, for the first time, the fabricator can actually alter the properties of your coating. So in places where we want to make it more elastic, make it tougher, we can add more urethane to it and make the part more crack resistant and more tougher. The other thing nice about Cocure Gel Coat, uh, it's been fully developed now and the weathering data, aging data, all that's in and, and it's outstanding. We're getting about double the weathering, about 95% improvement in gloss retention, about 40% improvement in abrasion resistant. Pretty much every test you go down with conventional gel coat, Cocure uh, beats it by 50 to 100%. So we're looking at boats now that are going to be able to have glossiness for double the number of years. This is a really big deal for the industry. Hello, I'm Scott Crump, R&D Director with Interplastic Corporation. In essence, Interplastic is the enabling chemistry resource behind the Cocure project. When Scott Lewitt first approached Interplastic with the Cocure gel coat concept, the film quality of his initial attempts was not ready for prime time and the performance characteristics in general were largely unknown. The basic idea here is to concurrently perform the UPR cross-linking reaction with a urethane chain extension reaction to produce a tougher material. Myself and fellow chemist Levi Lemon were tasked with transforming Scott's basic idea into a working product with good application characteristics and desirable service properties. First we tackled the application characteristics. Combining many years of formulation experience with advanced DOE models led us to make roughly 60 test formulations. A response surface map was plotted from this data which pointed the way to optimize the co-cure application characteristics. Next we focused on the in-service performance characterization. The relative strengths and weaknesses of co-cure gel coat compared to traditional gel coats was assessed by running a complete range of tests including weathering, thermal shock, mechanical, abrasion, and rheological test. Purely from a material science perspective, the polymer network formed via the co-cure concept makes sense. 